William Christie's other passion is gardens and gardening, but when did it all start? I had a garden very early on. Um, and it was just part of, essentially, uh, my upbringing. And when I became an adolescent, I, I found myself going off to visit gardens. I found myself reading about gardens. Uh, I found uh, time not only to go off and, uh, and uh, listen to music, but to go off and, uh, and, and live gardens. I arrived at the age of 20, 21, 22, essentially having defined um, in my life two sources of pleasure. Two passions, if you will. And um, this garden, which I created uh, from scratch, had been in my head for many, many years. And when I found myself uh, sort of able to begin a garden, uh, which was in 1985, um, there uh, started to pour out about um, 25 or 30 years of, of dreaming and, and, uh, and, um, and daydreaming of, of what I wanted to do, you see. This garden, I, at the beginning, I was loath to say, well, you know, this actually is me, you know. I mean, it might look like a French formal garden here, or a bit, there's a bit of Italian topiary. Uh, or a bit of a layout of, you know, of an Italian manners garden. And I'd sort of want to dwell on those aspects. This garden is a pastiche. Uh, it involves me. It involves uh, a very strong presence of me. It's a collection of, of things that I think are, of, are compatible and harmonious, but they range essentially from Italian gardens of the 17th century to um, essentially English arts and crafts or American arts and crafts gardens of the, of the end of the 19th century, you see. And then there's a lot of just new stuff for me. That nature is fickle. Being a gardener, of course, is, is sometimes being the, you know, the parent of a very unhappy and unruly child. Nature can also provide miserable weather um, <laughs> and, and uh, make my lovely garden festival of 2015 a rather difficult sort of moment. Um, but then again, uh, nature is nature, and, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, you have to deal with it. <laughs>